Tonight at 11, his death shocked South Florida. Now tonight, a report released that offers startling new information about the crash that killed Jose Fernandez. The bombshell findings now shedding light into the death of a superstar. And at the center of it all, what's being described as a strong odor of alcohol. New evidence Fernandez and the other victims had been drinking the night of the crash. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez live now in Miami Beach with our top story tonight. Andrew. Alcohol not the only factor, according to detectives. You also had a high rate of speed. And then if you take a look right out on the water, I mean, it's, it's pitch black. You can't see anything. Despite all the new information, detectives say that there's still a lot they don't know. This search warrant reveals new details about the crash that killed Marlon star Jose Fernandez and friends Emilio Macias and Eduardo Rivera. In the document, we learned what the autopsies showed, that all three victims had water in their lungs, that they suffered blunt trauma consistent with a boating collision, and that all three bodies individually smelled of alcohol. He was just home and he really gave a lot of joy to to everyone. Nearly a month after the funerals, the tributes, the vigils, detectives say they're still working to gather all the evidence. What we do know is the three friends were on the boat on September 25th when it crashed into a jetty off government cut at around 3.30 in the morning. We know the three were spotted at American Social and Brickle just before the crash. The warrant says a bar receipt was found in one of the men's pockets. FWC examined the two Garmin GPSs and two outboard motors found on Fernandez's 2016 CV. These devices could help determine the exact route and the exact speed. Detectives saying the investigation is ongoing but revealing what they believe led to this tragedy. Quote, the collision scene is consistent with a high speed collision at a location and at a time when such a speed was reckless because of the jetty and the darkness. This recklessness was exacerbated by the consumption of alcohol by the operator, whoever that was. And again, so you have a good idea. It gets very dark when there's no light out here at night. If we can turn off the camera just so you can see really quick, that's kind of what they're dealing with. There's been a lot of talk about improving lighting out here, especially around the jetty. We're still waiting on more information uh, from that GPS to be released. For now, we're live in Miami Beach. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. That example.